Hey guys, it's Junie. And today on The Science Show, I'm gonna be finally giving you an answer to this timeless question. Boy. So I know what you may be thinking. Junie, is this really true? Can I replace the plastic in my 3D printer with hot glue? No! In fact, you should probably never do that. But today, I'm gonna be testing if you can use hot glue to build real, functional objects, just like a 3D printer. Junie, why are you really doing this? I don't know, resourceful? Gee. Now let's talk about science. 3D printers work by taking X, Y, and Z coordinates from a 3D object file and translating it into physical space using melted plastic filament. But if you ask me, this whole entire process just sounds like a whole bunch of money flying all over the place. Kinda like you're- <laughs> And the whole thing just feels like- Best birthday ever. Then, I went to Target. Sponsor me! But in the meantime, I printed out some images of things that I want to make. Okay, I just got done putting down the first square for this box. And then something that I'm noticing is that it's taking a little bit longer than expected to dry. So what I'm thinking is that I'm gonna go in a clockwise motion around the perimeter so that it slowly builds up layers. And also another unexpected positive is that since it's glue, it just sort of melts together. So in short, everything's going perfect. Wide base, narrow top. It's apparent I didn't know what I was doing. But she cleaned it up at the end. But is it waterproof? No, it's not. Well, that settles it. 8 out of 12. On to the next. Now for object number two, we're gonna be 3D printing a mug. And I know that the most logical way is to, you know, make the cup part and then make the handle and then glue the handle to the cup. I don't wanna be that person. So we're gonna do the same thing that we did and we're just gonna glue everything in one fell swoop. Ah! Hey guys, it's Junie. And I don't know if you could tell from the last clip, but I was actually really tired. So I'm in the middle of 3D gluing my mug. And honestly, it's going a lot better than the cube. What I'm doing differently is that I'm doing a two layer glue method. So basically, instead of trying to stack one layer of glue directly on top of the other, I'm doing two layers side by side. Oops, and nobody cared. But the only issue with this side by side method is that it's making the inside a little bit thicker. Yeah, it looks like an inflamed nostril. Real talk, you see what I mean. But now, it's time to see if this mug can function as a mug. Oh, I guess not. This... is mug. I'm gonna be honest, I think it looks great. I think it looks... I think it looks so good. First time for everything, first time for mugs. High fives for Junie. High fives for Junie. Yeah, that worked. Now finally, the third object that we'll be 3D gluing is this... Christmas ham! And finally, in honor of the holidays, we're gonna build this Christmas ham. Which is fantastic because I'm a vegetarian and this ham isn't even me. I thought glue was made out of horse. So now it's time! for the grand finale, Christmas dinner. Junie, Junie. Juni. What? This is the point in the night in which I completely lost it. Very seriously, I don't remember filming this. I decided to keep it just to show you why you should, I don't know, get sleep! Hey! No, seriously, you've been warned. I got a ham! 
I think it's gonna be a good day. Like if we look at this ham together, I just think that there are so many gifts that life gives you. Like I didn't ask for this. Nobody asked for this. Life just gave it to me. So to answer the question, Junie, can you 3D print using hot glue? The answer is yes, but it's cheap, it's time consuming, and things don't come out exactly as you plan. But hey, that's life. Get sleep. And if you want to hang out with me online, I have, I have all this. You know, I, I got all these. You know what, I think life is full of so many gifts that don't come to you in wrapping paper. I feel like this time of year, we have to remember that just, you know, it's not about what we can give other people, but it's about what the earth just gives us and like what the universe just wants us to have. Like, I didn't ask for this blessing. I was just given to it. I think at the end of the day, it's the end of the day.